My guest today was born into a Muslim family, but one day his mom, a mother of four, devoted Muslim, accepted Jesus and left Islam behind. A decision that would change their family forever. Welcome, Ahmed, to the show. Thank you for having me. So you say that when you heard this news that your mom had converted to Christianity, that it shocked your, your family, your siblings included. Yeah, it completely shocked me because uh, it's something that is unexpected in the Muslim community um, mm -hmm. because we are so, um, they showed us a certain way and never showed us any other way. So we thought that, uh, that she will never come to that place. Mm -hmm. And when she did say that, it honestly, my heart dropped because of the possibilities of other things. You know, uh, the persecution, um, what my family would think. So it, it did, it did kind of shock me, especially. Uh, my brothers were also shocked, but I think more so for me because I'm the oldest, mm. right? So, yeah. What did your mom say? What, what changed in her that she was interested in Jesus all of a sudden? It's, it's, so we saw a change in her and her behavior. Mm. And so we, the more we, you know, talk to her, the more we, you know, uh, try to understand where she's coming from, she, she you know, gave us one day she just told us, right? Like it came to that where she said, you know, instead of, um, um, you know, telling us about what we should do, she just said, Jesus is Lord, he is my savior, and I s decided to follow Jesus. Wow. Yeah. And so what was happening in your life at that time? Were you thinking, okay, I'll accept Jesus, I'll go in that direction, or were you against it? What were your thoughts? The funny thing is I was just thinking about what other people would think. Mm. That's it. I was thinking what my family would think, what my f Muslim friends would think. I was thinking of all those times I went to Islam school and, and I had to memorize the Quran. Mm -hmm. What was that for? Mm -hmm. It was for nothing. You wasted our time, Mom. Like, what is this? So it, a lot of questions ran in my mind. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think I was just uh, more so shocked rather than trying to figure out what's, what was happening. Mm -hmm. Right. So what was your relationship with God? For me, it was more of what I can do for God. I think the oh. difference, and, I, and I'm starting to realize that now as yeah. more as I follow Jesus, the difference was me trying to prove to God that I'm worthy. Mm -hmm. So all my life I'm working and working, trying to bring my good deeds up. Mm -hmm. Even though there was bad deeds, I was trying to outnumber those bad deeds by doing good deeds. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that was my relationship with God, which came through, you know, five prayers and, and memorizing the Quran was one of them. You know, the more I memorized, the more people knew that I knew the Quran, mm. um, it, 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 it was like, okay, God is accepting me that way and I'm going to continue doing that. Um, but it, it's because of the pressure, right? So it's that pressure that allowed me to think like that. And also uh, the funny thing is I did all of that, but I didn't know what God really wanted. Mm. It was just based on what they told me, based on what my uncle said, or what my aunt said, or what my cousin said, or what my brothers or mom said, right? So. And you also talk about being focused on self. You were focused on your career, on you know accomplishing things, and it was more focused on you than anything else. Yeah, exactly. And that actually happened when when my mom made that decision and she told me about her following Christ. Mm -hmm. I realized, you know, I came to the conclusion, you know what, if she's not following Christ, I mean, if she's not following Islam, um, you know what, you know, I can do whatever I want now because I'm, I'm not subjected anymore, if, especially my mom is not doing that. So what had happened was I went on my own road uh, because I was on somebody else's road, which is my family's road. And since that broke, I went on my own road and I started doing things that I wanted to do and I couldn't do because of my religion. Like what? Like things like, you know, coming to Canada in a Western world, yeah. uh, you have these imaginations in terms of, you know, partying and doing this and getting the girls. So you build that up in your mind. And when you come to a place to Canada and you figure out that you have some kind of freedom, mm. you tend to, it's like a list that you go through, you mm. know. And if I go through this list, I'm going to be so happy because these people on TV look so happy. Mm. So what happened is I had that list in my mind and I went for it. Um, and for 10 years, even though my mom told me the gospel and told me why she followed Christ, and even though I saw her change, and it was almost like God was showing me before my eyes, looking back, He was showing me how He can change one person for the good. And, and, I, and I completely turned away and I said, you know what? Uh, it doesn't make sense anymore. Mm -hmm. So I, I followed my selfish desires and I kept going and going, even though God was showing me. So it was almost I was blind. Yeah. Right. Well, we're, we're going to continue yeah. the conversation with you, Ahmed, in just a yeah. few moments. So 
focused on self, but then something happens one night and Ahmed's mom is on her knees praying and something changes. Stay with us, we'll be right back.